How's it going everybody? Today I wanted to talk about the differences between a broad and a standard collision deductible on your auto insurance policy here in Michigan. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Brian Gatowski. I'm an independent insurance agent based here in the state of Michigan, Metro Detroit specifically, and I work with businesses on their commercial insurance programs, as well as helping families and individuals with their personal insurance, their home, their auto insurance as well. My goal with this channel is to pass on a little bit of educational information to you so that you can make more informed decisions around your insurance, whether it's for yourself, your business, or your family. And then overall, just help answer any questions that you might have. So let's get into it. First, with standard collision, you are going to be responsible for that deductible anytime there is an accident, no matter who's at fault. So if you have a $500 standard collision deductible and you are in a fender bender, you will be responsible for that $500 out of pocket before the insurance company starts paying. Now with broad collision, things are a bit different. If you are not at fault, in an accident, your insurance company will cover the damage without making you pay any deductible. However, if you are found at fault in the accident, then you are responsible for paying the deductible, just like with standard collision. Broad collision is a bit more expensive to carry because of the added benefit of, again, not having to pay the deductible if you are not at fault in an accident. So selecting standard collision can keep your premiums a bit lower up front, but you do not get that same added benefit if you're ever in an accident. Along with comprehensive coverage, your collision coverage, which would be associated with this broad or standard collision deductible, make up what are called physical damage coverages. And these are typically required to be carried if you have any sort of loan or lease on a vehicle, and your lender may have specific requirements around your deductibles for these coverages. So it is important to make sure that you check with them to see if they do have, again, any specific requirements. And last, with both of these options, both broad and standard, you can choose the deductible amount. The most common ones are typically 500 or 1,000. And depending on the value of the vehicle, some insurance companies will allow you to select a higher amount. But again, that will be dependent on the insurance company you're working with and again, the value of your vehicle. At the end of the day, it does come down to personal preference. There's no right or wrong answer between choosing broad or standard. It really just comes down to what you are comfortable with and what works best for your situation. Thank you for watching, and if you are looking for help with your insurance, whether it's commercial or personal, I would love the opportunity to work with you and see if our team can help. There are a lot of ways to get a hold of me, and they should all be in the description below. Please feel free to text, call, email, reach out on social media, whatever is easiest. And if you have any questions about insurance, whether it's commercial, personal, whatever it may be, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to help answer those as well. So thank you again.